The COVID-19 vaccine made by Pfizer has been shown to be 97% effective in preventing virus cases in Israel. New data also shows it's highly effective in preventing asymptomatic spread. The country's military also announced that it has become the first army in the entire world to achieve so-called herd immunity. Lee Sung Jae with the details. New analysis from Israel shows Pfizer-BioNTech's vaccine is 97 percent effective in preventing COVID-19. The analysis of the real-world use of the vaccine released on Thursday showed people vaccinated from January 17 through March 6 had a much higher rate of immunity compared to those who have not been vaccinated. Researchers also say a single dose of Pfizer's vaccine was shown to be 85 percent effective in preventing symptomatic cases 15 to 28 days after the jab. The figures support the argument that with a limited supply of doses, first doses should be given to as many people as possible first. However, Israel ministries of health still suggest that for maximum protection, two doses is likely the best option. In addition, Pfizer's vaccine was shown to be 94 percent effective against asymptomatic infections, which is a major catalyst of the spread. The Israeli military also says it has become the first army in the world to achieve herd immunity, as 81 percent of troops have either been vaccinated or have recovered. The military estimates it will achieve 85 percent immunity by next week. In Europe, the EU on Thursday authorized the use of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine, giving it another option in its fight against the virus. Europe's drug regulators gave its recommendation on the single-dose vaccine, with the EU Commission formally approving it shortly after. Aside from the benefit of being a single-dose regimen, it can be stored in most standard refrigerators, making it easier and cheaper to transport and store. Meanwhile, IOC Chief Thomas Bach on Thursday said competitors at this year's Tokyo Olympics and next year's 2022 Beijing Winter Games will be offered vaccines from China. Bach added that the IOC will pay for the additional doses, not only for the Olympics, but for the Paralympics as well. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.